Test, 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 test. Hello, hi, 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 hi. Probably a little louder. A little louder. Test, test. Turn it up a little. It's like uh, higher than it was when we started. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <That's good. laughs> I own all of these, uh, you know, got to my names and stuff. It's our little uh, slave. We keep them down here just to do our work and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, we got a little mixing board. We got two monitors, two PAs, you know, right there. Now here I got my kit. One million dollars, that whole thing. All together, a million bucks. For the shell alone, I'd have to say half a grand. I mean, half a grand. Five hundred grand. Five hundred dollars. Yep. And this is my base. I'm pretty good at playing it. Remember last time I played this? I was like, why is it working? It's a little bit long. Yeah. I wrote you a poem in my head. It said all the things I. You have to like practice it. Okay. And I'll practice it too. We all have to practice because it I can't have it be slow again. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> it sounds so good. I think it sounds so good like that. I need it to be like like insane. I think you know about it. Yes. The, you told me. the guy that like 
yeah, when that like crazy guy came and talked to me, so many was when I work was like, you're so strong. It's like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, lady. My only critique for this whole band is we play everything too slow. I feel like that's just wrong because at the beginning of us like at the beginning of us playing together, Richie, back me up. Esther was literally like, "You're playing too fast." I know. You played that too fast. But now it's gotten to the point where if I'm not playing something like really, really fast, I'm bored. Okay, <laughs> I agree. But like, I can't. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna fall asleep on stage. I, I feel like, I feel like I'm talking to me. I'm sorry. It's, it, there can only be one Simone. Like, I'm so indecisive like that, and I feel like I understand now. But, I feel like how indecisive. Really stubborn. I'm so indecisive. You're stubborn. You're stubborn too. I am stubborn. But you're stubborn. I feel like we're the same level. No. Richie? Why? I'm not sure. Wait, I why, feel like why am I more stubborn? After a few times of me saying something, if you guys want to do it, I'll just be like, Okay. Right. Right. And then I'm you like, just yeah, keep right, right. <laughs> In like kindergarten, I hated my teacher, so I just like didn't learn how to read. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I had to like go to summer school because like I basically failed kindergarten. No, but it was funny because like I hated summer school so much that I just like and I'm like smart or whatever. Like, so I learned how to read, like, really quick, and I, like, <laughs> you just yeah. I read to, like, the highest level I could, and then I was like, okay, can I leave now? And I had to stay for the rest of summer school. I was really upset. Richie, do you have brain damage? Have what? Brain damage? Maybe. I feel like I do. I used to I smoke, do. like, I used to smoke, like, like, a weed cart, like, a weed cart. A weed cart? <laughs> All the, and I didn't have a pen half the time, and so I would just hotwire it. <laughs> And I did it, I, did, I like smoked it like religiously. So know, all of I sophomore know. year, like fresh, like 15 and 16, like I fucked myself up. I know girls, okay, like when we would smoke outside the Skeletons, I know girls who would bring their Chromebook. That's what I did. From school. That's to what skeletons I Skeletons and hot wire it with their cart. I never did it that like that. That is stem. That's impressive. I don't care. What if we just like snuck people in for free? That's what I think. Maybe I can put someone in my bass drum. <laughs> yeah. I'll put someone in my case. Dude, Lillian can fit in my bass drum and she then we can bring in another person. She could. <laughs> and it'd be comfortable in there because it's got all the foam. Maybe. I have a cold in the last week of May, and you will inevitably tell me I'm wiser for it. My asparagus bed of last summer has grown over with thickness and rue. I will never be 17 again. And I'm starting to think uh, it will always stab up against the fatty base of my thumb like an old wound undone with the sounding of March and May that stays. I've raised myself in pinkness and cursed myself purple. I wanted you to know and I still wanted. I want to be by Willow and no not fear. No not, no not, no not. So, um, <laughs> Richie came to me about the idea to do this show. And I thought it was a really good idea, so he and I did some research on some places to donate, and that one came up as like most reliable, I guess, the Palestinian Red Cross Society. Oh, okay. Um, and so that's where the money from the show is going. And then we have five fucking crazy Grand Rapids bands. My name is Keegan. I'm from Keegan. Fruit and Fruitport and um, Granville and Spring Lake. <laughs> Granville? <laughs> and Grand Haven and um, 
the lake shore baby. Kalamazoo, uh, what, Lansing. I'm just, Stop. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just funny. Well, I usually write songs about like experiences I've gone through as like a queer and trans person. They're usually like traumatic experiences and like I'm not very unique for having trauma as a trans person and I'm not unique for expressing it. Um, but <laughs> I gotta think. When we hold on to like the self-loathing truths of our identity in life too hard, um, it gives like the rest of the world and the cis community an excuse to like kill us and see us as something to pity. But I don't think that's what being queer and trans is about. It's about like queer joy, queer anger, and like queer liberation and stuff. And so like even though I write songs and I sing about like traumatic stuff I've gone through, it's not really about that. It's about reclaiming my identity and using it as like a political force and a social force and a creative force. Socks are cute. Oh my god, my dance teacher in middle school gave them to me. Are you a dance? I was a tap dancer. Oh, I was they do like with choir and they're just like three people and they're like harmonizing That's and then you guys to go to the bathroom